Welcome to the X Dr. Tommy O Show. The X Dr. Tommy O Show takes a holistic approach to our community's healthcare needs and concerns. The show to Aspire Youth Mentoring Program. Let's define Aspire. To seek to attain or accomplish a particular goal, such as a particular career or level of success. The mission of this show is to inspire our youth. Dream and make those dreams come true. Well, we've had fantastic feedback on the Aspire series, and this is gaining a, a movement, and I'm getting phone calls uh, several times a week by other uh, mentors who want to be a part of the program. So uh, I, I would like to uh, reach out to a couple of people and invite them, which I did, and one of the seniors, one of the mentors, is my guest, and I'd like to introduce Tony Giordano. Thank Tony, you. welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Dr. Tommy. All right. So how are you feeling today? Oh, excellent. It's been a great day. Uh, you know, it's kind of unusual for me to be a youth mentor because I feel like I am still a youth. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, right. uh, in all seriousness, when I, you know, growing up, um, I had people that guided me and, and we all stand on someone's shoulders. And um, I've come to this, to this place in a, in a very unusual uh, way. I was mm -hmm. a Wall Street guy right. and I really, my focus every day was making money. Um, and one of my clients, a gentleman down in Kentucky, had, uh, had come to me and said, uh, said, well, what he really likes to do is spread the word of Jesus in Latin America. And I right. said, wow, here's a guy who runs $12 billion of state money and his main focus is helping people. And he, he wasn't just talking the talk, this guy actually ended up quitting his job selling his house and working for an organization called Sparrow Missions full time. And I see people like that and it says, and t says to me, I've been so fortunate. Through the best times and the worst times, I've been so fortunate. Right. And it's important for us to be able to give back. Um, it's imperative that we give back. Um, and I have to tell you, I've been, work I was appointed to the board of Palante Harlem, an amazing organization that advocates for, um, for needy people in Harlem and South Bronx and housing issues. Right. Um, and it was supposed to be a once a month meeting thing. <laughs> and here I am all of a sudden, the head of the internship program, uh, working with the wonderful woman who's, uh, who's dynamic and, uh, and, and uh, peripatetic in her, uh, in her work, uh, Elsia Vasquez. Yes. Um, very fortunate to have the kids with us today that are in the audience right, as well, right. who are part of the mentorship program. Right, well that, that's part of the, the, this particular show. It's a special show because we do have a live audience and this, these youth are part of your uh, program. It's, uh, it's called Stand and Deliver. Yes, absolutely. Make some noise, guys. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you, you I know, can't get them to shut up most of the time. Tom. Right. <laughs> so. uh, it, you know, it's it's important to show them uh, something special, uh, giving them a life experience, and so they can uh, aspire to be this. Because this is a great opportunity for them to, if they want to get into the media, uh, here at Lehman College, because we happen to be in Le Lehman College Studio. Uh, this is called BronxNet Studio, and the, well, BronxNet offers an internship program. So this would be a wonderful opportunity for those who are interested in be becoming uh, either an editor, a producer, uh, if they want to be in front of the camera, behind the camera. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity, so now they get to see it firsthand, literally in the studio. Well, interestingly enough, two of the interns, Christian wants to be behind the camera as a director, mm -hmm. and Devin, I don't know, with that face, I don't know if he could be in front of the camera, but we, maybe we could work something out for you. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's get in. I said, what, what, what inspired you to become a, a, a mentor? Yeah, well, like I, like I said, I was in. Uh, I, I came to this in a very. I, I was very, always involved as a youth in um, in sports, and that gave me a lot of direction. Mm -hmm. I don't know where I would have been had it not been for my strong mother, who's here today. Right. Uh, but she raised me as a single mother, and the fact that I was always in a wrestling room or uh, or on the football field. Right. Um, and I know every kid doesn't have that opportunity. Um, when I went to college, I was involved in advocacy for students, mm -hmm. and I believed, and I still believe, that public higher education is vital for leveling the playing field right. so that the kids in Connecticut have the same opportunity that a kid in East Harlem has. Right. Um, and I think that's vital. I came to this organization, Elsia Vasquez and I, who the founder of Palante Harlem, met in college, in student government, even though we went to two different campuses. Um, and um, she invited me to be a board member simply because, under the guise that I would be able to get uh, <laughs> donations from Wall Street folks and, <laughs> and fill her gala. Um, and, uh, 
she asked for an inch and has taken a mile. Yeah. Um, and it's been the best mile I could have ever given because right. these kids insp uh, us inspire and aspire me to greatness every day. Right. Um, and hence we're here. And uh, you know, who knows? I've been blown away by the caliber of these kids. Mm -hmm. um, I've been blown away by the level of seriousness of these kids. Um, they are starving for more. Right. They want more. They want leadership. They want the opportunity. Um, when I came, when I first came, the first thing I asked them to do was uh, tell me where you want to be in five years mm -hmm. and tell me what you think the stumbling blocks to where you're going to be in five right. years. And almost, the, the, there was a wide range of where they wanted to be. All this in college, to some extent, or some, but focused on different things. Right. But the, the finances were key, um, and, um, and breaking out of the cycle of their communities were key. Right, right. So they get it. They fundamentally know it. The question is, can we, as adults, as the leaders, give them that springboard to that next level? Right, right, right. I think, uh, you know, the exposure, like here today, if they see something and they realize it is attainable, um, you know, sometimes when you're not exposed to something, you say, oh, that's not for me, I'll never do it, it's only for someone rich, or whatever the excuse is. Well, I get, having uh, the, the youth giving them the opportunity of exposure, they realize that they do have the chance to also follow in that footstep. Um, I'm not any special. Well, we grew up not any different. Right. We're just like the community that I grew up in. It's, it's uh, a very mixed community. I grew up in Freeport, Long Island. It, you know, it's, it's a mixed community, uh, very si similar to uh, like a Span more like a Spanish Harlem where it was mixed, or even the Bronx. Um, my parents weren't physicians. They were college professors. They worked hard. They still work hard now. They, they're married 51 years. Uh, you know, I just happened to, uh, they were giving me the, the opportunity and exposure to say, hey, you can do this, and this is what they need, exposure. Mm -hmm. And these mentor programs offer that exposure. Well, we all, we all can't be born into the same communities. We have, right. So I have two daughters, 13 and 11, soon to be 14 and 12, both of them, and was fortunate enough to be able to provide them a lifestyle where in the suburbs and a very good school system. Um, there are kids who live better than them and there are kids who live worse than them. Mm -hmm. And they think it's important as a mentor to let your mentees know that anything is possible. That's right. That, you know, you, wherever you, it's not where you came from, it's where you're going. Right, right. Um, and it's incumbent upon us as adults to lead that way. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, you know, it's very easy to get wrapped up in your own life. Um, the way I, I'm a finance guy, the way I got into finance was through an inspirational, someone you probably have heard of inspirationally, uh, Chris Gardner, the Will Smith movie, Pursuit of Happiness. Mm. Chris Gardner, uh, the, the character in the movie, the guy in the movie, the real guy in the movie, was one of my clients. And he'd come into my office with <laughs> double Rolexes, a full length trench, black length tre trench coat, uh, a Russian driver with a Glock underneath the seat, and he go, what's up, young blood? And I said, I want to be like him. I want the money. <laughs> And right. money is great. Money is important. Money is important. But the thing is, you have to realize where you, you know, that we are part of a greater community and we need right. to all work together right. in order to ensure that we are balanced and that we have fairness and equality amongst right. us all. Right. Well, I would say that, you know, it's, it starts with the nuclear family and then it goes to your extended family and it goes into your global family. So we need to start learning to nurture within and then we start building and reaching out. And if we set the fa a strong foundation and then we can grow. And that's what's missing now. There's no foundation. Everyone wants to do whatever they want. Right. Well, the structure is function. In medicine, we say structure is function. Without structure, there is no function. And today's society, the way things are going with this instant gratification, <laughs> there's very little structure. And then people wonder why everything, you know, everything is falling apart. Structure is function. Sure, I'm, I'm going to write that down. Structure is function. <laughs> very good. All right, what, what are your personal goals as, as a mentor? Uh, as a, my personal goals, I, you know, I have, I've had mentors along the way and I, and I want to make sure that I keep in touch. That I want to watch the seed that we've planted this summer, mm -hmm. the summer that's flown by, uh, germinate. What we're going to do is create a, um, a, a monthly immersion program where we're all going to Skype once a month together. Right. In fact, I spoke to the bishop from your previous show about being one of our guests on one of our Skype classes. Um, and I want to see, you know, the, they always say in every class, if I affected one kid, I did it. I don't want to affect one kid. I want all of these kids to succeed. And if that means one-on-one -on -one talking, you know, talking to, uh, to Lucy about, uh, about 
her individuality and not judging a book by, her, by its cover, or Rita about the fact that she can be a newscaster on Univision or anywhere, that's important to me. Mm -hmm. um, I want to see as many of these kids succeed, and f that goal that they had in five years, I want to see in five years right, that, right. That, they're, that they're near that goal, and helping them eliminate those stumbling blocks to the best of my ability, but on their own, terms. based on their own terms, right. and based on their own activity, on their own effort. Exactly. It's got to be done on your own. Right, right. And, and uh, you know, as long as they have the, the drive and motivation, we all have different dreams and aspirations. But the key is to have a dream and then see that dream come true. The, if, you know, what, what started this was a, a, an hour-long conversation with one of my closest friends if, since I've known it was from, from, from uh, kindergarten. So you're talking f like 45 years uh, where he felt that the youth have no opportunity and they feel lost. And, and that really bothered me, and that's when I started reaching out to my friends to come on so we can you know, really address, especially those that are successful, and, uh, and to tell their story of hardships and their road to success. Well, uh, I know we, we have another video, so I'd like to uh, take a little break here, and uh, then we'll come back and uh, continue the conversation. I'll keep talking, Tommy. I'll <laughs> keep talking all day. So. <laughs> all right, so I want to I uh, take a little break, and this is someone special. This is a childhood friend of mine. Um, her name is Alitra Lanahan. And uh, I've, I grew up with her father. Her father is a mentor. Uh, for, he has over 40 years experience enriching the youth of Freeport. Uh, I also graduated high school with her brother, uh, he, Kyle Jason. That's his professional name. Uh, he is a R&B slash soul singer and he has a huge career in Europe as well as down south. Um, and he's also uh, Bootsy Collins. And that is the bass player for Parliament P-Funk. It is his male vocal background singer. So Kyle, I'm thinking of you. So I want you to, to listen to Alicia. She is a, a former model and she saw a singer uh, and a jewelry designer. So watch this video. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Alicia Linehan and I'm coming to you on behalf of Dr. Tom O'Brien, who would like me to speak with uh, some of you um, young adults about dreams, aspirations, and goals, the stuff that we want to do in this life, everything from A to Z. Um, I am originally from Long Island, and I come from incredibly humble um, beginnings, but I decided early on in life that I wanted to achieve something, and I set out to become a model, and I did. At the age of 20, I flew to Ireland and I know you're saying Ireland. Yeah, Ireland. I flew to Ireland and I had tried to break into the modeling industry in New York and it, and it I, I did some stuff here and there and it was good. Um, but I really achieved what I wanted to when I landed in Ireland and I was there for a few years. I had a blast. I did a lot of amazing things. And I enjoyed myself and I learned and I strived and I worked very hard and I achieved my goal of becoming a model. Um, I also desired to do a lot of other things along the way. Um, now, at this moment in my life, I am a jewelry designer and a stay-at-home mother. I live in South Carolina, like I said, and I am still to this day learning and working very hard to achieve all of my goals. Nothing in this life comes easy, but everything in this life comes to you when you persevere, you work on your character, and you work hard, and you surround yourself with amazing people. Remember that. It's surrounding yourself with awesome people as well. And without my brother Kyle and my dad, Bernie, I probably would have just been stumbling through life thinking, what am I going to do next? But these people actually had a way of supporting me um, in my thought processes and the things that I wanted to do. And they really instilled in me, if you want to do it, it's worth doing it right and working hard. Because you can't really achieve anything if you don't work hard at it. So... Thanks to my brother and my dad, I am the person who I am today, and thanks to a lot of amazing people along the way, I am the person who I am today. But I wouldn't be the person who I am today if I didn't listen, I didn't learn, and I didn't believe in myself. So believe in yourself, guys, and remember, there's nothing in this life that you cannot achieve. 
from humble beginnings to where I am now. I'm still humble, but I'm happy and I'm making the best with everything that I do because it is an amazing journey. Remember that. You will achieve it, just believe in it. Love you and peace. Alitra, I want to thank you for being part of the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show. You are a positive role model and you are making a difference in our community. Tony, oh, this is wonderful. Well, no, it's been wonderful for us. And, uh, you know, like, doc, like the bishop said in the last show, and uh, like Whitney said, I believe the children are our future. It is. And that is for sure, for sure true. Right, right, right. Um, and I, I really, honestly, have to, I think one thing the bishop had also said was that we need to listen to them. One of the best things that I had was the opportunity. My daughters were with us on this day when we were going through the questionnaires. Mm -hmm listening to them, listening to what their goals are, what their dreams are. I think a lot of times, as adults, we talk to kids instead of talking with kids. Right. Um, and um, I'm learning from them. I, I'm so, so inspired by, by the, the quality of these kids. Right. And, you know, there's a wide diversity, in this group even, there's a wide diversity of backgrounds, mm -hmm. of uh, parental situations, um, but they're all overcoming. And now they're building their network. I've, we've explained to them the, ability, the, the necessity of creating a network, that your team, that it starts now, that um, your friends, the person who's in your boat now could be in your boat 20 years from now. That's and right. you want the best people on your ship. That's right, that's um, right. When we say you're building a team, you wanna, you wanna build your team with all positive role models, like the best you can be because you want the best team. No one wants a loser on their team. People want winners on their team. Then you're going to have a successful team. Yes, and uh, and the other we've also showed them in a, in a very <laughs> the the uh, the, uh, the necessity of the photo op. Um, every elected official they've gone to visit, including Ryan, Charlie Wrangle, Gail mm -hmm. Brewer, <clears throat> Scott Stringer, taking selfies with them. Right. Um, my first job interview, I when I from my student leadership days, <laughs> I brought in a portfolio of me with Governor Mario right. Cuomo at the right, time right, and right. Uh, Shelley Silver and. Uh, Unfortunately, some of those elected officials are indicted now, uh, and I had to pull those out. Yeah. But that network, the networking and knowing and, and having that legacy built starts now, particularly in the day of social media, particularly with, the, with right. mistakes that you make on social media will follow you forever. Right. But the positive things, your Palante Harlem experience that these kids have had this summer is part of their legacy as well. Right. And it's also going to be captured in that social media network. Right. Right. Um, you know, these kids are really have made it. They've learned themselves about office work, but they also are learning about helping other people. Right. They have literally gone into buildings where there are violations and have meticulously gone. I think, was it Lucy who found a giant dead rat and had to, you know, that right, had yeah. been there obviously for some time wow. in one of the buildings. Yeah. And, you know, and we were with the uh, deputy commissioner of HPD last week. And, um, uh, one of our uh, one of our our <laughs> our, uh, our interns actually put. They actually saw a politician tap dancing. They brought up the poor door issue, which is big topic now in housing. And they saw she saw they saw politician tap dancing, oh, yeah. uh, trying to avoid the issue. So they've got a <laughs> wide array of sp experience within this program. Right. We Palante, in order to continue what we've done this summer, needs help. Right. It's a small right. organization. It's a grassroots organization with f only three employees. Everyone's volunteers. Um, so if you'd like to, it's Palante Harlem, P-A-L-A-N-T-E, Harlem.org. Um, Elsia Vasquez is the founder and the executive director and an inspiration and the mother hen to all of us, not even just the kids, to me as well as a board member. Right. Um, so um, for us, <clears throat> we just want to keep it going. Right. Well, what are you looking for? Um, well, the name of the game, Tom, you know, is always money, resources. Right, right. So, so if people donors. can... Donors. We're looking for volunteers, we're looking for field coordinators, we're looking for donors, um, we're looking for people who want to give time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of, my, uh, one of my former assistants now works for the Mets. He's offered us, you know, 40 tickets for the, one of the right, Mets games. Right, right. Um, anything like that that could help us be part of the solution. Right. To inspire the kids, to let them know that, that, uh, that, that, that there are other people out there who care. care. Exactly, I, I agree. So we have the youth here. Why don't we give a, a chair? One, two, three, Palante! All right. All that was right. a little cheesy, yeah, but that's okay. That's <laughs>
<laughs> uh, you know, it's all fun. It's you know, all it's, fun and games. It's, it's family. All, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, it's, <laughs> it's really family. It's about caring, you know, and, and protecting each other. Absolutely. And, 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 uh, and I would say as, with Bishop, as Christians, that's part of who we are. Uh, you know, I'm a Knights Templar, and part of my function is I'm here to protect uh, Christians. Uh, you know, I want to make sure that path to success, the path to the Holy Land, we, that it's, it's our part of our God-given right, and that right to be successful in every aspect of life. So part of my mission, as well as yours, is to make sure the youth achieve and become successful. And that's what Jesus says. If you read the Bible, it's about being successful. If you read the Old Testament, the building of King Solomon's temple, it teaches you the rules you know, of social order and how to be successful. A lot of people don't realize that. It's there, it's in writing, it's encoded, but you must read Building of King Solomon's Temple and you will learn how to be successful. So, with that being said, we're almost at the end of the show. No, it went too fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, this, this is wonderful. I want to thank you for being part of the show and bringing your youth here and uh, really reaching out, making a difference in the community. Well, Dr. Tommy, I really appreciate your time. appreciate you getting out the word for Palante Harlem. Palante Har Harlem, firstly, is an organization that advocates uh, for, for people, needy people in, the, in housing. The most important thing is having a good roof over your head. And um, their advocacy work, their, the, the work that they've done in, uh, in litigation has been vital. For me, I've been completely blessed by being part of, uh, part of the, uh, the internship program. Right. Um, these kids are very, very special, and uh, it's. We're, I can't believe the summer's almost over, and right. it's, it, we're, we're kind of culminating now. And uh, it's sad <laughs> for me, but I know they're going to be in my life after this. Absolutely, well. and the good thing is, we're going to. You're going to be able to watch them mature into uh, adults that are who are successful, and will continue the mission, and making sure the next generation is successful as well. As I get older too. <laughs> Someone has to take care of us. <laughs> All right, so I need to close out the show. And what we're going to do is we're going to watch a video of our youth giving presentations. And these presentations, they're really powerful. So I need to really focus on the message. Again, Tony, I want to thank you for being part of the show and allowing me to be part of your youth program, uh, the Youth Stand and Deliver. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's a passion for the bishop and I, uh, really reaching out and helping the youth. Uh, they are our future. They are, when they are successful, we will be successful as a nation. Remember, it's the global family. It's the United States, the American family. Uh, and then if you're a Christian, whether you're not a Christian, even if you're Jewish, it's part of who we are. You have the Old Testament and the New Testament. That's who we are. We are a family, and we want to be successful. You have to read Building of King Solomon's Temple. So in closing, I'd like to thank Bishop Riquette for giving me this opportunity, like I always do, for having the Ask Dr. Tommy O Show. I'd also like to thank uh, Kathy G. Shub, Certified Public Accountant, uh, and she's the CEO of Diamond Accounting for helping and sponsor the show and making sure I, I achieve my goals by offering the best show I can possibly do. So thank you. God bless. Remember, stay alive with Church Alive. The Stand and Deliver program at Pilante Harlem is a program where we cater to our youth. Our youth learned how to work in an office environment. They also learn community service. And most importantly, is we really try to inspire greatness. We teach them what, how to really achieve their goals. Um, we have been very fortunate enough to actually have our newly installed board member, uh, Tony Giordano, and he has been dedicated, he has dedicated the entire summer, actually, to work with our youth. Uh, together, he's put together a curriculum for them, tailored to their specific needs. Dr. Tommy, thank you so much for bringing us to your program and for really helping us with our youth. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Rita Castillo and today I'm going to talk about immigration issues. My name is Nicholas. I'm 16 and today I'm going to be talking about picking and building a building in any area you choose. Hi, my name is Jackie Mendia. I'm an intern at Palante Harlem. I'm 17 years old and today I will be talking to you about a program that changed my life by the name of the Oliver Scholars Program. Hi, my name is Taya Verlwet, I'm 16 and I'm an intern for Palante Harlem. Since I only have five minutes of your time, I'll be quick, even though I could talk about this all day. Um, my topic is feminism. Hi, my name is Lucy and I'm an intern at Palante Harlem. I am 16 years old. Now, my topic is to not judge a book by its cover because I think that nowadays that's what everyone does. 
Hi, my name is Delenia Santos. I'm 16 years old and I am an intern in Ships for Shape. Now, I only have five minutes, so I'm just going to start saying what I do, basically. Um, I've been an intern for two years in Ships for Shape, and it's basically an internship based on three groups of people. Now, those three groups of people are mainly about incarcerated folks that have gone through things, high school students like me, and a couple of students from Parsons, the new school. My name is Aiden Lezujad. I'm an intro for Palante Harlem. Mm -hmm. Today my topic is cell phones, how they're good, how they're bad, and who's the first person to create one. Yeah. Hi, I'm Limo. I'm 16 and I'm into Palante. Before we start, I want to ask a quick question. Everybody has played a video game, right? And if you haven't, you're not a 100% human being yet. But don't worry, you'll get your chance. Alright, so we're going to break from reality and go dive into the world of video games. Hi, my name is Devin Gomez and today I will be talking about reality TV. I would like to thank Palante for helping me be a better person to the community for just exposing me to different spotlights, you know, like it's not every day in life that you come across people that can teach you things that you can use for the rest of your life. So, you know, I'm really appreciative of, of this experience and I would recommend Palante to help more people in different states and different boroughs, you know, not just here in Upper Harlem or Upper Manhattan. Content-wise, yeah. the bomb. I loved it. I loved your message. Uh, I love the passion that came with it. I love your pipes. You know that. I love your pipes. That voice is a million dollars right there. Um, really, really good. On point. Excellent message. What I would have liked to see, and we could talk about it, and it's probably going to be something you're going to see throughout the day, but you're the guinea pig. You're the first one, so you become the test pattern for it is um, some of the things that we discussed in terms of your structure. And you could take what you've done, everything you did, you could have fit right into easy into the, into, um, into the format in a very kind of clear way. Um, say your name, double R's, I like that. But you might want to say, I mean, and say where you're from, uh, Palante Harlem. Now I know within the context of this, you're not necessarily representing Palante Harlem. But um, the other thing is I would, she said, and you did very well. My topic of my is breaking the cycle. I wanted to discuss certain aspects of what I've done to break the cycle of not joining my father again in, you know, in, in uh, being incarcerated. Um, and so then you could have taken. I've broken my life into long-term goals, short-term goals, um, and immediacy, or something like that, to break down to three areas and say, my long-term goal is to, you know. Uh, is to, um, is to own my own company, of my own construction entity, and utilize my skills, you know, the things that I'm interested in. Short term, what I've done to achieve those goals is taking internships. Right now, what do I gotta do? I gotta pay, I, gotta, I need money.